My name is Dr. Ivy and I'm going to be your physician today, okay? I see that you're coming in for um, just routine checkup. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and update some stuff on your medical history. So I'll sure. be asking you a few questions. Yeah. Can you please confirm your date of birth for me? Sure. It's March 23rd, 1989. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And your last name? ASMR. Okay. Okay. Can you, do you remember when was the first day of your last period? It was like this week. So it was Monday. Monday. Um, are they usually regular? They can, lately they've been a little sporadic, to be honest. They've come okay. like later and later. Yeah. So what's the average, would you say, or was there an average before and now it's just like pushing? It's just the last couple of months. So say like in October, I had it um, on like the fifth of the month and then the next month it was like the 15th. Okay. And then November is like... Yeah. Okay, so be doing four five days. Yeah. Okay. When was the age when you had your first period? I was 13. Okay. Do you usually have cramps? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Are they pretty bad? Um, yeah, they can be pretty severe. Um, just the first couple days. Okay. I'm definitely going to order some blood tests just to make sure there's no other condition that might be making them worse. Sure. Okay, what do you usually do for cramps? Do you take something? I take ibuprofen and okay. try to lay low. Does it help? Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Good. Do you have any allergies that I should be aware of? Not that I'm aware of, no. Are you currently taking... Uh, birth control? No, I'm not. I tried um, for a little while and it kind of just affected my um, emotions okay. like very severely, so I just stopped. So there's different types of birth control and whenever you're interested, we can discuss your options there. Okay. Maybe there's something that would suit your body a little yeah. bit better. Okay. Are you currently sexually active? Yes. yes. Um, it's been like a few months, but... Okay. Have you had any libido changes in the past few months? Um, it's decreased. To decreased? Be yeah, in the last six months. Okay. I'm well, going to be taking a look at your levels of hormones, different hormones. Just to make sure there's no hormonal imbalance that could be affecting the length of your periods or the time between periods. And also um, other side effects. Okay. Have you been tested for STDs before? Yes. Yes. Would there be a reason for you to want to get tested for STDs today? Um. If it's something easy and quick, but it's not something I'm concerned with. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely do a few swabs just to rule out. Okay. okay. Have you ever had any STDs? No. no. Very good. Okay. Just the last few questions. Um, do you consume tobacco or have you ever consumed yes. tobacco? I did. Um, like 10 years ago. Oh, okay. That's been a yeah. while. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever, do you vape regularly? I did for a little while, but no. No. A long time. Okay. Do you drink alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. What's, um, your consumption of alcohol? How often? I have like a glass of wine with dinner. 
Okay. Um, pretty much every night, if I'm going to be honest. Um, and on the weekends, if I go out, obviously I'll have like one or two drinks more, but that's about it. So okay. I'd say I'm a moderate drinker. Okay. Okay. Do you have any discomfort, any symptoms right now? Any vaginal, um, what's the word? Mm, vaginal discomfort, uh, discharge. Yeah. Or, uh, okay. irritation. Yes. Do you currently have any symptoms, um, either urinary or vaginal, like irritation or just discomfort? No. No? No. Okay, that is great. Okay, so we'll be doing a routine exam then. It seems that there's nothing specifically too concerning, but mm -hmm. we'll just do an overall assessment. Okay. Um, can you also confirm when was your last pap smear? It's been like five years. Five yeah. years, okay. So definitely we'll be doing one today. You want to be doing them every two to three years okay. um, if they're normal. Do you remember if your last one was normal? It was normal, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to start by taking your vital signs now. Taking your temperature. Nice, and six. Have you had any flu like symptoms in the past couple of weeks? No. Yeah. That's great. There's a lot of bugs going around. It's true. Okay. That was 100 over 65. That's normal. Okay. Oxygen 67. Your heart rate 68. That's great for resting position. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna be just doing an overall assessment. Um, Appearance-wise, you seem to be very relaxed. Do you suffer from anxiety at all? Yeah, I do. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you feel stressed right now? Um, not really. No. Yeah. Okay. You're a great comforting presence. <laughs> Thank you, I'm glad. Um, I want this exam to be as relaxing as possible. Okay, okay I'm gonna start by checking your eyes. I'm gonna be touching, just pulling them down to see the conjunctiva. Okay, I'm just assessing for any possible signs of anemia. I'm gonna be pulling it up as well. You look down. Oh, okay, so definitely no signs of jaundice. I think that's great. Okay. I'm going to be checking your lymph nodes, so I'm going to be walking behind you, okay? Okay, I'm just going to move the hair out of the way. Okay, I'm going to be palpating, just expect my touch, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with the submental lymph nodes, just making sure there's no inflammation there. Moving to submandibular. Okay, I'm going to be checking pre and post auricular as well. Is there any pain or discomfort? It doesn't palpate. No. Okay, go ahead and shrug your shoulders for me. Okay, I'm just gonna palpate. Just keep them shrug for a little bit. I'm just trying to check the of nodes around the clavicle, both up and down. Okay, you can go ahead and relax. Okay, now I'm gonna be checking your ears. Just go ahead and relax. Your canal is free of any obstructions. Tympanic membrane is pearl gray. There's a tiny bit of inflammation on the ear canal, but there is no fluid. Do you ever suffer first from seasonal allergies? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, Your canal looks great. Tympanic membrane pearl gray. And on this side, there's actually no inflammation or irritation. So that's crazy. I'm gonna 
have you look straight ahead. The red now looks in great shape. I don't see any scratches. Take a look at this eye. Take a look inside your mouth. Just looking for any mouth sores, any gum disease that could indicate some underlying health conditions. Okay. I notice a little lesion on your on the inside of your cheek. Did you by any chance bite on it or I bite? Those cheeks. Oh, okay. Ever since I had braces as a kid, I had calluses, and I've just been biting. Okay, so it's not a um, sore, mouth sore. All right, you mean the ones right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, okay. That's just something I've been. Okay. I just have it. Okay, Katie. So now I'm gonna have you change into this gown. Okay. You can go ahead and leave the opening on the front. And just button it all the way up, okay? Okay, great. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to proceed to do the breast examination. Okay, I'm going to be opening the gown. I'm going to be just lightly touching, just making sure there are no lumps, no masses. Okay. okay? If at any point you feel uncomfortable, please let me know. We can take a break. Um, we could also bring someone else in um, if you would like, okay? Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay. okay I'm gonna be opening up the buttons. Okay. So first I'm gonna examine your left breast, okay? And to start, I'm gonna ask you to put your hand on your hip. You're just gonna place it like that, okay? Just gonna be palpating. Make sure that I palpate the armpit as well. Okay. So we'll be palpating the breast. Do you do your regular breast examinations at home? Mm, you I do. do. Yeah, okay. That's great. Have you ever noticed any abnormalities? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. My mother had breast cancer, but it was above the age of 55. Oh, okay. So. Okay, well, that looks great. Can you go ahead and just place your hand up on your head just like that? Just do one. Sam here. Okay, good. I'm gonna proceed to uh, your right breast, okay? Just expect my touch. Okay, go ahead and place your hand on your hip. Thank you. Okay, just checking. Do you always check your armpit as well? I did not so good at that. No, oh, okay. Yeah, it's important just to make sure there are no swollen lymph nodes or even lumps in there. Okay. Oh, okay. Now go ahead and place your hand on your head. Okay, 
Okay, now we're going to proceed to the pap smear and the vaginal examination. You can go ahead and lay down on the bed. You can place your head on this side, okay? Okay. Okay, Katie, I'm going to be putting on a new pair of gloves. And I'm going to proceed to the vaginal exam. Again, if at any point you feel uncomfortable, please let me know. We can definitely take a break, okay? Okay, so I'm going to be uncovering just lifting the bed sheet a little bit. Okay, so first I'm just going to be palpating here. Okay, I'm just doing a visual inspection and I don't notice any irritation, no redness. That is great, everything looks normal. I'm gonna palpate the labia to make sure that we don't notice any lumps or masses. Okay, I'm gonna be taking couple of swabs for testing for STDs. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be inserting the speculum. This is gonna be feel a little bit hard and cold. It's gonna be a bit uncomfortable, but we'll be done in just a second. Inspecting the cervix. Everything looks normal. I'm going to be taking a couple of swabs. This is just going to be external. Almost done. Last one. So that's it for the vaginal exam. I'm going to let you get up and we're just going to discuss the results, okay? Okay, I'm just going to make a few notes. So we did a couple of SCT tests. Okay, did 
didn't see any signs of HPV. Okay, so overall everything looks pretty healthy. Okay, we're just gonna wait for those results to come back from the lab and once we get them, you'll see them on your portal. Um, okay. You'll be able to see all the results in there. So if you see something that looks abnormal, I'm still gonna review all the results. So after you get the results, I will be commenting on there. If I do notice anything that's out of the ordinary, okay. I will send you a note in there. If we do need another appointment, I'll give you a call so you can come back in, okay? Sure, thank you. Do you have any questions for me? No, thank no. you for making this a relaxing experience. Thank you. Um, well, yeah, if you need anything in the meantime, please reach out. Otherwise, I'll just um, see you next year. Right? Okay, sounds good. Bye. Bye, Katie.